I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video one of the most powerful manifestation techniques I've personally ever come across in my life. And it's honestly really, really powerful because I found a way to get what it is that I desire without feeling like I'm ever going out of my lane or sacrificing how I truly feel. And, and it's just honestly been so amazing that I just want to share it with you. So I'm just going to share it with you in this video, it's just a powerful technique. I won't make it complicated and I want you to take this technique and apply it. And when it works for you, I want you to come back to this video, come to the comments and share it with me and everybody else how successful it was for you. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell. Also, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, the only two ways to do that right now is number one, through single sessions. And number two is through email coaching. If you're interested in either of those ways, the details for both of those ways to connect with me, which is the only way, will be down below. Now, I want to start off this video with you know, an interesting concept that I don't remember where I got I, where I got this from. I definitely didn't come up with it on my own, but I did have to kind of go through my own experience and I did come up with this, the name of the technique myself, but I remember somebody else talking about a similar, a similar, kind of similar, in a similar way, like what I'm gonna be sharing with you is kind of similar to how I'm sharing it. My, I lost my, my words there for a second, but it, it's, they explained it in a little bit different way and, and a little bit of a different way. And the way that I'm gonna be sharing it with you now is gonna be a way that I've never seen anybody ever explain it before in the specific way that I'm sharing, at least how I'm sharing it now. So what I wanna share with you is to always be on the way to something. Just always be on the way. Never have it where you're not on the way to something so that, so that it's like you always know your intention in terms of where you are actually going. And I don't mean sometimes. I mean you gotta go all in. You gotta go all in. You gotta go so all into this that it's like you don't have any other option but to be a conscious creator in every single moment of your life. So what this means is that you always know where you're going and you're just always conscious of where you're going and you're always on the way to something. So you don't ever, you don't ever have it where like you, you're confused, where you're disoriented, where you feel super, super uncomfortable. Like you're just totally disgusted and not resonating with where you are. Because if you feel that automatically, you know, that you're not actually in alignment with your intention. That's the key. So the key is to know where you're going and to never allow yourself to not, not be going where you're going. It sounds kind of weird, but it's like when you know where you're going, there's something that just so powerful comes through your being. And I don't know how else to say it. So let me just give you an example. Let's just say you're you feel like right now in this moment, what you truly resonate with is to go to the store and it might sound kind of funny and get some bananas. That's what you want. You want some bananas. So you go to the store and you get some bananas and on the way to the store to get bananas, that's your intention. Maybe your, maybe your, maybe your previous intention was to be healthier. And now your intention is to go to the store to get bananas. That's what you want to get bananas. So your intention is health, abundance. You want more health, you want more vitality. So you go to the store to get bananas, but you also know that maybe you so maybe like a week ago maybe two weeks ago you also decided that you wanted a relationship maybe a friend a new friend right you know that it's one of your intentions is to have a new friend in your life now on the way to get the bananas okay it's you're it's gonna sound kind of funny you see that there is your friend this new friend or potential friend right somebody that you're genuinely attracted to and doesn't have to be romantically but you feel a pull and a calling to talk to them now notice here why this is so why this is so powerful the reason why this is so powerful is because you didn't go out of your way to like chase this friend and to go looking for a friend so where where can i find this friend where can i find him i really want to find this i really please please work it's like no you're past that you're so tired of that. If you're watching this video, 
you're at the point most likely where you're past immature behavior of chasing for something that just feels so wrong in your body rightfully so it should feel wrong in your body because it's weird it's weird when you chase somebody it's so weird and guess what you know when people find when people feel really weird because you chase them i know for a fact you know this is true you will also feel very weird when you chase it's not just that they feel weird you also feel weird it feels weird when you're not living in integrity with your values when you're going so out of your way to become somebody's friend or to like get a partner or whatever or just it just feels so weird and it should feel because imagine imagine if like you're going to get sort of you imagine you're you're going to the store you're doing your thing you're walking and then somebody comes to you and you can just sense that they really really don't know at all where they're going and they just really want to be your friend it's like no thanks you don't know why you just don't want to talk to them you shouldn't want to talk to them because everybody deserves to feel that sense of alignment to feel that sense of you know where you're going to feel that sense of you know exactly where you are going everybody deserves that now the the key here is to understand that when you're going to the store to get these bananas you're you were already going there you weren't like looking for the friend your your awareness your consciousness you could say just notice that possibility because you knew that was your intention that's how the mind works when you know that you want something and you have a specific goal your mind is only gonna notice the possibilities that are in alignment with that but the, now although you may have heard that before when it comes to like manifestation or like the law of attraction or whatever you could even look at it from a scientific point of view right where your mind your mind your mind is physically wired to see those possible however you want to see it whatever way you want to see it right the key is to understand though that when you're in alignment with something that other thing is going to be connected with that other thing that you're in alignment with so what i've noticed in my experience is that every desire that i have is interconnected with every other desire that i have it's not just like this one desire that's gonna fulfill me and it's gonna make me happy this just this one thing this one amount of money if i just get this money i'll be happy no if i just get this one relationship i'll be happy no if you just have that one breakthrough coaching call or one 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 mo one meditation i need that one meditation session it's gonna blow no that's not how it is you're never gonna have that one coaching call that one friend for me was like that my i only need to have the one one breakthrough meditation i'm i'm sorry to break it to you but i'm not sorry it's not about the one meditation it's not about the one amazing friend. It's not about the one romantic partner. It's not about the the breakthrough. I don't know if I said it. Right, the breakthrough meditation where you're where you're on the mountains and then the you're in the vortex of energy and everything. All the stars are aligned. Look, you might have a meditation session like that. You might have an amazing friend that comes into your life. You might attract an amazing partner. But it's not just going to be this one thing that fulfills you and then every single other area of your life you just throw it to the side because that's not how it works if you sacrifice every other area of your life for that one thing that you think is going to fulfill you what's going to happen is that the universe and life and god if you want to call it that but you'll see that how you are how you are responsible for this to a very large degree not just the universe right because you're you are the universe you're part of the universe right it's like you, you if you sacrifice all your other desires let's just say you totally forget you wanted those bananas and you just you see that friend but you forget that you wanted the bananas see um, what i'm saying here in this video is that talk to the friend go a little bit out of your way just a little bit you know don't don't be so in your lane that you don't you're not courageous enough to go talk to that person that you're attracted to or not talk to that person that you think might be a potential friend or business partner or whatever but it's like don't forget 
that you went to the store for bananas. Don't forget that. That's the key. Don't forget that that's your intention because what happens is that you got to keep the momentum flowing in your life and you got to keep it rolling. You got to keep it because if you forget your own momentum, the reason, the thing that initially brought that person into your life will be lost. Does that make sense? You'll lose the vortex and momentum of energy that initially brought that person or situation or opportunity into your life in the first place. If you attach to the opportunity and you forget all your intentions, you, what you'll notice is that you'll lose it or the person will become repulsed because it's rightfully so. It has to be that way because, because the universe wants you to be self-sustaining. I believe that life is kind of geared towards being in a self-sustaining energy and making it so that you can orchestrate yourself and co-create and simultaneously work with other people that are also in that same type of energy. But if you notice that you're dipping in your energy and you sacrifice, you just say, yeah, you know, I don't want, I don't want bananas, but you know you wanted those bananas, you know. And then you talk to the friend and, you, and then it's like, the friend's like, hey, you wanna go here, you wanna go here? And you wanna go to this place? And it's like, you actually said to them, no, I'm here to get bananas, but hey, let me get your number. And we can, we can, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a romantic partner or a friend or whatever, just get their contact information and, you know, we can schedule something or we can, uh, uh, you know, meet up at a later time and they'll appreciate that because let me tell you, if that friend says to you, no, no, forget the bananas, this, 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 they don't really mean that. Even if they convince themselves that they mean that, they don't really mean that because, because they don't want you to give up your intentions. They want you to stay true to yourself. And if they're convincing you to get that, what they're doing is that they're out of alignment with their true selves. And they're also convincing themselves that they also don't want to keep going where they're going. But what happens is that if you both sacrifice your true intentions, what's happening is that you're both lying to yourselves. You're both lying to yourselves. Whether you admit it or not, you could, you could forget all about your intentions for as long as you want. But the truth of the matter here is that in that moment, the moment you both forget your true intentions, you're both lying to each other. Because you know for a fact that you wanted those bananas, okay? And that person knows for a fact that they were also maybe in the store for a reason to also get something else. But I was like, oh, I don't bananas. You don't want that. Let's just go do something else. And you both feel drained. So the key is to stay in alignment with your intentions. And you notice that if you're always in alignment with where you're going, the other thing that you want will come into your life naturally just as a result of going to that thing. You know, maybe you, uh, you really want to travel and you never had a car before. And then maybe you work at a job and on the way to your job, they give you the car and they give you the, all the money and they give you all things you need to travel, to get the car, to get this. And then it's like on the way to the job, which felt effortless, you got the car, you got the job, maybe you want a Lamborghini. Maybe the Lamborghini is just a natural byproduct that comes into your life of naturally going to uh, Hawaii, maybe you're already, so I just want to go to Hawaii. Let's book a vacation to Hawaii. You have the money, you, you plan it, and then you also want a Lamborghini. On the way to Hawaii, maybe you meet somebody on the plane that is a Lamborghini dealer. Wow, what are the odds? See, these are not coincidences. All of these things happen perfectly when you have a strong momentum in your life and you know where you're going. Now, now here's the thing that I want you to understand that the reason why this happens though, there's multiple ways to look at it, but one way to look at it is that your mind is open to the possibilities. And this happens when you have clear intentions and desires. So you have clear intentions. This is why you need to know what you want in my experience, which is people's biggest sticking point is they never know what they want. They're not willing to write it down. They're not willing to own it, to own what they want. So to conclude this video, what I want to share with you is to never go so far out of alignment with what you're on the way to. This is key, this is key. So again, if you're getting those bananas, talk to the friend, talk to the Lamborghini dealer or whatever, like the car salesman or whatever, right? Do it, but then keep going where you're going. That is the key. That's the key. Now, if you do this, what you'll find is that you never feel like you're being out of integrity. You never feel truly uncomfortable. There's always a sense of safety and security 
and groundedness in every action that you take. And even if it doesn't work out, it's fine because you're still doing all these other things. This is not really a technique. What I'm sharing with you here, yes, I'm describing it as a technique, but what I'm really sharing with you here is to be a natural, actual human. Because if you're true to yourself, you won't go out of alignment to get those bananas because you know you need those bananas. I mean, you don't need them, but in a way you kind of do. It's like, it's a paradox, right? Because you know that those bananas are in alignment with your health, with where you're going, perhaps that's what it is for you in the moment, right? And you know that's what you want. You know that's what you're dedicated to to get those bananas. It's like, it's like don't, don't sacrifice that. You know that for everything to be flowing in your life, you know for a fact that in a way you could say you need those bananas but you're just in flow and the reason why those bananas feel effortless is because you're on the there's many other things in your life that you felt comfortable and safe and on the way to if that makes sense you know because maybe there's another time in your life where uh getting bananas was a serious challenge but now the bananas is just something on the way to do something else and something else and does that make sense so like the key here is to never go out of your lane don't go out of your lane too much stay within your parameters and stay within your lane. And if you notice something else that you're attracted to, go after it, but don't go too, af too, too out of your lane and don't sacrifice your integrity and your honesty and your true intentions. And I really believe that if you apply this, you will notice how your life becomes epic. And you easily, very easily, very naturally attract what you want and desire so with that i conclude this video once again if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally there's only two ways to do that number one is through single sessions number two is through email coaching and the details for both of those things will be down below as always enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next